Planet Dolan. From getting a collect call from Satan himself to making love to your nighttime intruders, we look at 10 terrifying personal stories of sleep paralysis. Hello there, my name is Shima and I'll be your feline narrator today, reading out amazing and unbelievable facts while you get nice and cozy. Number 10. The Black Cat This is one feline you definitely don't want cuddling up to you at night. This black, shadow-like cat has appeared to many sleep paralysis sufferers in the night. Those visited by the Doom Kitty will normally wake up to find the creature on their chest, with pain and breathlessness soon to follow. Some also see the cat shift into different, more unusual creatures and demons. Being suffocated by cats is the stuff of urban legends, but for victims, it's very real. Number 9. Insect Swarms Well, if cat stealing your breath doesn't freak you out, maybe being covered in bugs will. One sufferer detailed on Reddit about seeing a giant scarab-like beetle looming over their body. Suddenly, the colossal insect speaks, detailing the different ways it will devour their flesh, all before abruptly turning into thousands of beetles and swarming into the cracks of the wall. I'd like to know what methods the beetle suggested. Would it deep fry its victim, or prefer a demonic human barbecue? Didn't know insects could be so picky. Then again, maybe this one was just triggered from watching The Mummy too many times. I know that movie certainly gave me nightmares. Number 8. The Devil's Call Here's one that featured in the recent documentary, The Nightmare. Essentially, instead of being paralyzed, he thinks he's woken up from his dream to answer his phone. He walks out to the lounge room, talking to a mysterious voice that asks to be let in. When the victim says no, the room starts to shake and the voice turns angry. The room begins to shake and he can't move. Scared out of his mind, he turns to Jesus for help, and bam, snaps right out of it and is back in his bed. Whoever said God wasn't there when you needed him. Number 7. Rapid Aging It's described as something like the guy drinking from the wrong grail in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, but on acid. This story involved our victim going from a pleasant, lucid dream to waking up paralyzed with an old woman in front of their face, rapidly aging before their eyes. Oh god, the horrors of having old people shoved in your face like that. The account doesn't say how they escaped, but I bet it wasn't without the old woman complaining about the cold before rushing off to get a senior special at Denny's. Number 6. The Man in the Attic Why is there always something terrible lurking in attics? This unfortunate soul had the horrible vision of seeing something very sinister lurking in the roof above them. Waking up, they see the hatch in their roof open up and a dark being crawl out attempting to reach the victim in their bed. Imagine being unable to move, with a clawed shadow creature trying desperately to grab you and pull you into the abyss of your dark attic. Dear God, the horrors that lurk up there, like your dad's record collection. Number 5. Dead Cousin in Your Bed Everyone wants to see their dead relatives again, right? Maybe just not under such terrifying circumstances. This victim came under paralysis with a woman in a jacket standing at his closet door, back turned towards the bed. On top of that, they can sense another person in the bed with them, but they can't turn to see who. Suddenly, the figure in the jacket turns, revealing that it was their cousin that died the year before. Panicking, they scream trying to get the other person in the bed's attention. The paralysis breaks and they end up yelling, what the fuck is happening, to an empty room. There is no one in the bed and just a jacket hanging from the closet door. Number 4. Masturbation Shame Ever felt bad about jacking it? Well, now sleep demons will shame you as well. Another story told in the documentary The Nightmare is told by Forrest B. about staying at his parents' house and experiencing a paralysis episode. He wakes to see an elderly man sitting at the end of his bed. The old man opens his mouth and says, Forrest, you came all over your mother's sheets, you pervert. Forrest swears he didn't even self-love that night, so the old man demon was totally wrong. At least get your shit straight, demonic masturbation shame creature. Number 3. The Red and Black Demon An almost universally seen creature that terrorizes sleep paralysis victims. These demons can take on many variations. Some just have red glowing eyes and a shadowy humanoid shape and others appear as literal demonic-looking creatures with red and black skin and sharp teeth. One sufferer experienced the more demonic-looking version sitting on her chest, trying to suffocate her. 
Breaking free and waking up her husband, he said he had felt something pushing down on his chest too. Talk about an unlucky couple. Well, maybe they can fight sleep demons together at least. Number 2. The Hat Man The terrifying man in a hat, and no, it's not the kind with a neck beard and an anime obsession. This is one that comes from multiple sufferers telling that after being plagued by one or two shadow men, the ringleader will show up. Universally, this is a man in a fedora standing behind all the other creatures, menacing the victim with a blurred or shadowed face. For some sufferers, the hat man only watches, but for the unlucky few, he will strangle or hit them. Geez, give me the other fedora wearer any day. Number 1. Sex with your demons Well, as it turns out, this sleep demon may just want a piece of ass. This person had been experiencing sleep paralysis since they were seven years old, but didn't try doing anything sexual with the dream intruders until their late 20s. Finding that if they could get their hand to move to their own crotch, this would initiate sex with the creatures. The victim would then orgasm without any real-world stimulus, and quickly fall back asleep. Mystery solved. Sleep demons just want to have some kind of Rosemary's Baby encounter with you. Well, that's not going to give me nightmares. Thanks for listening. Bye. Did you enjoy the video? That's fantastic. Did you know we still have a gaming channel? Collaborative. It's for playing it all and come look at us as we play some video games. Like animation? Have some questions about life and the universe you need answered? Come check out Super Planet Dolan. Danger Dolan and I will answer your life questions. Links are down below.